Yeah. So basically go around and do that all the way around. Right? Yeah. The other bit we've got to do is we've got to take this plastic sheet down because it hasn't worked. Um, we're going to keep the white frame and then what we'll do over the next couple of weeks is I'm going to get that uh, plastic corrugated roof sheet that's about three and a half metres long. Oh yeah. And we'll, we'll put them on because there'll be more structural strength in it. It's really bugging it there, isn't it? Yeah, it's bent. Yeah. It, we'll, we'll have a look at it before we put it on. We might have to replace the odd white pole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's that's another. But if we take the plastic down now, then that's done and gone. All right. We've got enough of those um, wooden panels to actually start cladding this poly tunnel. So this stuff that's at waist height. My plan was uh, either in between the white poles or unscrew the white pole, stick a panel on, and screw the white pole back on top. So actually, it's a solid. Because yeah, the idea yeah. is, if it's a poly tunnel, the wind doesn't. You don't oh, want just, the wind to blow through. Just all this up then. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, seal it up. So yeah, get yeah. rid of get rid of all this plastic at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, and seal it all up. We can right. use it's, the plastic on uh, some of the plants. Yeah, no, we're going to bin stuff, it. We're just going to yeah. take it down. Um, I made a mistake on that end of the poly tunnel, in that I built the wall all the way around to join the main shed. But Sue wants to put a door in it. Yes. So there's ventilation at either end. Yeah, good idea. So that final half panel that's attached to the shed, don't bother t touching that because we'll take that out and we'll put a swing door in there. Yeah, a swing door. So that actually we can, we can open either end on summer's days. Yeah? Brilliant. Um, and then the other bit that's up for doing is we need to finish lining the inside of the shed. So there's lots of OSB that needs sort of cut in like a jigsaw and just sticking on the walls and making that all look pretty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there are our things for the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Whatever people fancy doing. Um, I would suggest we leave all the tools under here because it doesn't feel like it. According to Mr. Google, it's just juice, juices have light showers this morning. Oh. Right. So yeah. Okay. Anybody want to do anything in particular? Right. Yeah. Just multi pound attack. Multi pound attack. Yeah. I'm with it. Kind of this amount showing, you know, we didn't put a corner on there. Yeah, put a corner on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got the wood to do it. Yeah. In that far corner, I just put one at a 45 degree angle across the corner. Yeah. I didn't fart about trying. No, to, just. I made it a feature. Across. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. There we go. It's the wrong sort of floor to. <laughs> Need an umbrella or something? It's a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of frozen. frozen yeah. Oh, look thing. at all the ice. <coughs> you like the Kate Bush song on the ice. <laughs> yeah, I was going to cut you down for that a little bit. Ooh.
great. Yeah, it's just not hard for enough, is it, for the British? No. Right, I think that's a, that's a wrap. Yeah. Call it a wrap. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I see that. I see. <laughs>
Because I was going to put a kettle on there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Don't fall on If you come around this side, you might not. It's less smoke, isn't it? It's like yeah. proper. It's in my eyes, it's sunset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what have we got here, Stephen? Kettle. Kettle with some nice water in it, and it's going to boil. How long it will take, I'm not sure. But we'll soon find out. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 